Okay, I'm going to show you this uh, bathroom floor, pebble stone floor that needs uh, fixing. Um, I've been going around getting a lot of opinions online and here at local shops, but I'll make a video and hopefully any of you with expertise on this can comment. I don't want to hear, I have to tear it all out. I know that I'm looking for something that will get me through the next three or four years, have it looking good. You know, and um, it won't uh, mold up and the water will uh, run off. But uh, anyway, I'll talk as I do that. So, yeah, this is the, the bathroom I had done. You know, it was quite ambitious. <laughs> you know, uh, what I'm going to do is probably end up having this door removed. We have a baby on the way. So, you know, uh, anything that can free up the hands, you know, will we'll do. So... Yeah, I got this idea off of Pinterest, and I don't know, for some reason every bathroom I ever done was blue. But now here's what's going on. Um, I have one of these pebble stone floors, and you can see areas that had contact with the water. They, they got polished, you know, just from normal water versus stone type of thing. There's uh, plenty of, uh, uh, you know... <laughs> I guess what, what sayings and metaphors of life about water to rock, you know, but uh, in other places we have like excess grout and this grout is very porous. You can see here it's uh, just washed away. So I need the grout repaired. And then also there's a lot of excess grout on, on these pebbles here. Uh, the master or the contractor, uh, as you say in American English, or we call them building masters in, in Europe didn't clean this off. I had this done during COVID. I wasn't even here. I was doing this all remote control. You know, it was a miracle it got done. But yeah, it's the same problem. So I have, there, there's three things that need to be done here. First is this uh, excess grout has to be removed from the stone, you know, on the top of the stone. Then this uh, grout here, you know, we need repairs. Repairs or regrouting. I'm not sure. Uh, it depends how long it takes. Um, I'm more worried about the time and the chemicals involved. You know, we have a baby coming, so I don't want like toxic chemicals here that'll, you know, harm the kid. And then the third thing we need to do is seal the floor because it's incredibly porous and the water gets in there and it gets moldy really quick. I've been just taking showers and baths here in the bathtub, you know, <laughs> just to uh, avoid all of this. Um, I'm thinking about having this glass window replaced with glass block as well if it's uh, if there's contractors available to do it. There's a big contractor shortage now in Ukraine. I mean, that's due to the um, draft and the war and everything. All the guys who are really good at this volunteered for the army, volunteered or drafted, you know. Um, but uh, we've lost a lot of workforce here. So I'm looking for any guidance, anything, like I said, for a interim solution. I know I've watched YouTubes with the contractors and they're all saying, oh, you got to just tear it all out and start over. But um, I don't have the time. I mean, the money is, it's a lot of money too, even here in Ukraine to do that. But um, more it's the time. I mean, th those kind of projects can drag on for, for months, you know, waiting on people and then people start running a few jobs at a time and you're waiting for materials. You know, it's, it's just not a, a realistic solution here. So what I, what I would like to do is, um, yeah, get to, get some feedback, get your opinion. I'm, I'm also testing this GoPro out uh, just to see how it uh, handles the changes in light. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, any, any advice would be, would be deeply appreciated. Anyway, thank you and take care.